typically guppy fry reach full maturity in about six months, but is there anything you can do to help them grow just a little bit faster? Guppy fish are live bears. They drop fry often and they are known to be prolific breeders for a reason and that holds true. But these little baby guppy fry when they're born are incredibly small and fragile. They're born at about a fourth of an inch in size, but they don't grow very large. On average, guppy fish are only about two inches in size when they are full grown adults. But during this growth phase, when they're fry, they do grow about 0.3 inches a month. And that's good to know as a starting point if you are wanting to learn how to speed up the process. I believe there's four stages to guppy fry growth and each one of them is really easy to recognize. So you're in luck. The first one's going to be your newborn fry. Then there's juvenile fry, your young adults, and then your full grown adult guppies. And like I said earlier, it's really easy to recognize what stage of growth your guppy fry are in. Remember, guppy fish give no parental care to their baby fry. So when they are newborns, this first stage, they are on their own. But immediately after birth, they are pretty fragile, even though they are known to be hardy. During this newborn stage, they're incredibly small and fragile, but their eyeballs are really developed. So they are on the lookout for if they're going to get eaten by a parent or a tank mate. But immediately after birth, they are more likely to be resting on something until they gain their full shape and inflate their swim bladder. But again, they're only about a fourth of an inch in size during this newborn stage. They do go from resting to free swimming during this newborn time in no time at all. Juvenile guppy fish are still incredibly small during this stage in life. They are still pretty muted in color. They will not develop the colors and the patterns that guppy fish are known for until a little bit later. But this stage does last about two months and they go from about one fourth of an inch to three fourths of an inch during this stage. Young adult guppies are about three fourths of an inch and about three months old. And during this stage, they start to slowly develop their coloration that you will see in adulthood. This stage does last until they do reach full maturity. And then of course, the last stage on the list is adult guppies. And I mean, adult guppies are just, they're just awesome. So now that you know the stages of fry growth, let me go over some of the tips I do to increase this growth rate. I do have to say this list of things that I have for you if you do want to speed up this process is pretty straightforward. It's really simple. But the first thing I do have to share with you is when you notice that your female is showing signs of labor, she's starting to gasp at the surface and her fins are going really quickly. When you see those those signs of labor coming allow her to drop fry in a separate container. And this time is when I do have to say I do use smaller five gallon aquariums or a plastic container. But the trick to this that I do have to share with you is allow the water level to be a little bit lower and add something that floats, that those newborn fry during this initial phase don't swim all that well. They haven't developed into their full body yet, and they need to gasp air a little bit at the surface to inflate their swim bladders. So during this little bit of time, it doesn't take very long at all, but one, allowing your female to drop fry in a separate container will cut down on them getting eaten 
and two, by allowing the water level to be lower and something in there for them guppy fry to float on during this just initial stage of life will guarantee you that you will have more fry to grow faster. Temperature is a big part of increasing your guppy fry growth rate. If you want to speed up the process, you're simply going to have to increase the water temperature. I like to grow my guppies anywhere between 74 degrees Fahrenheit and 80 degrees Fahrenheit. And sometimes I heat the room and sometimes I heat the water. It simply comes down to if you want them to grow faster, you're going to have to increase the water temperature at least by a few degrees. So whether you heat the room or heat the water, you're going to increase their metabolism, therefore increasing their growth rate. Another part of growing your guppy fry faster is diet. And that doesn't mean that you have to feed them more, more often. I just like to feed them a little bit more often through the day. Since I do keep them in smaller water volumes during this time, guppy fry do not produce a high bio load by any means. So if the water is going bad, even though it's in a smaller water volume, it's because I'm feeding too much. And I don't have to do a lot of water changes if I keep food that I give them in check. So I do feed them high protein food more often through the day, but only a small amount at each time. So I keep the water quality good. And another part of growing your fry faster is making sure you have fry to grow and you want to keep your water quality good during this time. Because again, even though guppies are known to be hardy fish, you have to keep their water quality well maintained, especially during the fry phase because they are more fragile during this stage even though that the guppies that you will have in your water will be the hardiest and the longest living for you, you do have to keep their water and their environment clean. And bonus tip when it comes to feeding is offering them live food. Hatching baby brine shrimp is going to give them an enriched diet and it's just gonna help them overall grow faster. And then again is keep the stress level down. If you allow your female to drop fry in a separate container, no matter what that container or aquarium might be, you're guaranteed to have more fry because you're eliminating the threat of being eaten by the parents or other tank mates that you might have in your aquarium. So keeping the water quality good, the stress level down, providing them a good environment with a healthy diet, warm water, and just, again, taking out the threat of being eaten and providing live plants, providing them an easier time in the initial beginning to get to the surface. You're going to have really healthy fry that grow just a little bit faster. So whatever your plans might be, whether to breed them in the future or just keep them in a really cool tank, this will allow your guppy fry to grow and reach maturity. And you'll get to see those really pretty colors that they're going to develop that much faster. I hope you've picked up something new from this video and you've enjoyed your time here today with me. I know I have. Help me share out this video to a fellow fish keeper. Give me a like and I hope you go check out sciencegalaquatics.com for your copy of my book, All About Guppy Fish, The Ultimate Care Guide. If you want to learn more about this topic of fry growth today, but until next time, I'll see you in the next one.